Hello. You're watching a recipe for nightmares, exploring the Vincent Price cookbook with your host, John De Bomb McNee. Can't really see that nickname catching on, but you've got to give these things a try. This is the show where I, horror author John McNee, cook the recipes of horror icon Vincent Price from his famous book, A Treasury of Great Recipes. And as I think you can see, this episode, we're taking things to the next level. Some people call it a hat, others a statement. The introduction of the chef's hat has two main benefits. I get to feel a little more professional and at home in the kitchen, and you no longer have to see how bald I'm getting. You can just take my word for it. It ain't pretty. It is autumn. That wonderful time of year when the days are colder, the nights are longer, and all the spiders try to get into your house. There is one in this room. I saw him earlier. Where did he go? At this time of year, the chill in the air, I feel an obligation to bring you a little heat. You ladies know what I'm talking about, what I'm talking about. Heat. Curry. Specifically, chicken curry with baked saffron rice. This is a recipe from Hotel Pierre, that famous curry house in New York City. To make this dish, we will require butter, garlic, onions, canned tomatoes, bay leaf, cinnamon, cloves, chicken, salt, pepper, curry powder, cumin, coriander, paprika, coconut milk, rice, and saffron. Step one is to take a teaspoon of saffron and soak it in a cup of water for about two hours, which I have already done. Look at that. Look at the color of that. Don't drink it. Step two, preheat your oven to about 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius. Next, in a heavy saucepan, heat half a cup of oil or butter. I'm using ghee for added authenticity. Mm-hmm. Oh dear. Add four cloves of garlic, chopped, and four chopped medium onions. Saute for five minutes or until golden. Then it says add two whole canned tomatoes chopped and I've bought two whole cans of chopped tomatoes. This could have been clear. Probably like one can, one can's fine. Add the tomatoes, one bay leaf, a teaspoon of cinnamon and six cloves. Pah! Now the cloves are off. Cover and cook for five minutes. That's how they did it. Now we add roughly three pounds of chopped chicken. In you get. Oh, damn it. Don't be chicken. We'll cook this on a high heat for about 10 minutes, stirring every so often until most of the liquid has been cooked out. Add two teaspoons of salt, two tablespoons of curry powder. You can use mild curry powder if you want. I'm using medium curry powder because I'm tough. A teaspoon of pepper, a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of coriander, and a tablespoon of paprika. No kidding around, this smells amazing. Add three to four cups of water or enough to cover the chicken. Bring to a boil and simmer for 35 minutes. Blech. The curry is now simmering on the back. We can move on to the baked saffron rice. Get out your heavy casserole. <laughs> that was supposed to be a joke, but I think I have actually hurt my back there. In your heavy casserole, melt half a cup of butter. More ghee. Ghee whiz. <laughs> when that's melted, add one onion, chopped. One optional clove of garlic, chopped. I've done so much prep today, you must be well impressed. Cook your onions and garlic for about three minutes or until the onions get soft and then add two cups of uncooked rice. It says stir until the rice is well coated in the butter. Add the saffron and water, being very careful not to spill any because it's ludicrously expensive. It's about 25 quid worth here. It smells slightly antiseptic but I'm sure that'll improve when it's boiling which it is cover with a tight lid and bake in the oven 
for 10 minutes. Bend to the knees, bend to the knees. After 10 minutes, take your casserole out of the oven again. Remove cover and stir to mix thoroughly. Add two cups of boiling water. Cover and continue to bake for 15 minutes. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's getting hot in here. I shouldn't have worn this hat. Take your rice out of the oven. Uh, yeah. Not funny anymore. And fluff it up with two forks. Whoa, this looks beautiful. When the curry is looking ready to serve, which it is, add half a cup of coconut milk and heat it through gently. And here it is, chicken curry with saffron baked rice. Mm. But that's not all because as Vincent Price says, the best part of curry is its presentation. It is always served with a rice and with an assortment of condiments, each in a separate bowl or dish. Okay, you might be thinking naan bread, poppadoms, pickles, that kind of thing. Here is what Vincent Price recommends. Chopped peanuts, grated coconut, grated orange rind, candied ginger, white raisins, chopped fresh parsley, nutmeg, chutney, chopped hard cooked eggs, and Bombay duck. Now, I didn't even know what Bombay duck was, so I looked it up. Apparently, it's some kind of fish that used to be quite popular until the European Union banned it because it was unsanitary. Isn't that just like the bloody EU taking away our hard-earned Bombay duck? As well as all the suggested accompaniments, today's dish will be paired with Cobra Lager, designed to pair with curry, and the Vincent Price horror film Dead Heat, also starring Treat Williams. <sighs> Spicy. Don't forget, today's episode is brought to you by Welcome to a Town Called Hell from Berdizo Books. A mammoth anthology of chilling tales, all set in one small American town about to undergo its own personal apocalypse. Perfect Halloween reading. I'll pop a link down below. That's all for now. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, compliments on my hat. Welcome. And, uh, of course, Please do join me again next time for another recipe for nightmares. Step one is to take a teaspoon of saffron and soak it in a cup of water for about two hours, which I have already done. Look at that. Look at the colour of that. Don't drink it. <laughs>